Hey guys, I am back and I created a spam bot today. And as you probably can tell, there's like a lot of coming in from the background. I can't help that. I don't know why it's like that. It's just ah, oh, it, just gets, it just gets on my nerves so much. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be giving you a spam bot. Giving you the whole code and everything. Just be ready. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna go to discordapp.com slash developer slash application slash me and you're gonna hit create new app. Then go to use, then just name it whatever you want. I'll name it spambot and choose choose its icon. Now you gotta hit create app and wait for it to finish loading and to create an app because you know creating apps actually takes a little bit amount of time, so Okay, the app has been successfully created, and we got its ID, and we got a client secret, and all that stuff. Okay, so what you want to, what you're gonna want to do is hit generate OAuth to URL. Huh? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Scroll to the bottom and hit create bot user. Then the OAuth to URL. And then you get a public bot, save changes, perfect. Now hit generate OAuth2. And as you can see, it comes up with the OAuth2. Hit open your tab, put it in there, which you just copy from here. And all you need to do from this whole thing is right here, permissions equals zero. You gotta change it to permissions equals eight. Because we want it to have admin permissions so that he can spam the server. And we're going to enter. Whoa. Okay, somebody's spamming my name. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a the bot in my server called Spambot yet. But this will add it. See, administrator. And that's all it needs. And then you can go ahead, go to this, and then you click. I'm going to add it to light, because that's it server I just showed you and I'm obviously not a bot because I'm the one creating the bot <laughs> and there we go spam bot joined and he's right here but he's offline okay so what I want you to do next is download node.js any version I think any version works anyway then you're gonna want to go to notepadplus.org and download it right here you can download it it says take this if you have no idea which one you should take which is the one I take and it works perfect so yeah next you're gonna want to go to my Google Drive link that I'm gonna post in the description and you're gonna right click tutorial bot and you're gonna hit save as but I'm not hitting save as because I already have it saved so yeah and then you're gonna put it onto the desktop you might you have to put it on desktop if you don't it the bot might not work right so go ahead and and do that and and then we'll get into the next part of actually making this bot be a spam bot okay so after you downloaded all those things you're probably going to have a file which looks like this whenever you open the tutorial bot file it'll look like this and like, you can like edit with notepad plus plus because you should have downloaded it and this is all the code it takes to make a spam bot okay so now you're gonna want to go right click token to edit with notepad plus plus as you can see it's empty or it should be empty it might say and your token here I'm not sure if I put it in there whenever it's at that but you can just like delete it and now you gotta add your token go to this Scroll to right here and click click to reveal and there we go now we got my token and you're gonna copy it and paste it right there in between those this is like super easy setup so just save button is right here hit save minimize okay now this is why you need Node.js to actually run the bot so you're gonna want to hold down the shift button then right click and where's it go wait 
do it again if it doesn't work the first time. There we go. Sorry guys if you can hear my dogs and stuff in the background, but they're like freaking out for something. I have like absolutely no idea why. Okay, so you hit open command window here. You're going to type node bot.js. And bot started up. Spam bot is running on one guy out from 20 users. Awesome. Okay, this is how you work him. You can, I made it to see where you, it'll say help, shows help page, but it doesn't. I'm going to go into token because that's private and nobody, and it won't spam like a million people, or I'll just clone channel. Name it spam. Nobody but me and bots are in there. You can type add everyone. You don't have to ping it, and it'll start like spamming at everyone. Or you can just type help and it'll spam to so goldbot which I just made so yeah goldbot will post his thing and so will spam bot it'll like spam five seconds five at every once and wait like three or seconds or something then spam five at every once again so yeah anyways it works really awesome so you should go ahead and try it out Handy. Yeah. sorry my dad just Walked, yeah, my dad just walked in and he's like, time to eat, so yeah, I'm gonna have to go and eat, so, see ya. And, uh, see ya, as you can see, it just like, spams it. And then to turn it off, all you gotta do is, go to the command center, you type, curdle C, and it turns it off. Then all you gotta do to turn it back on is type, node.js, and it's back on. There you go. But I'm gonna type curdle C to turn it off, because I'm gonna shut down everything, and, because I have to eat, so yeah. Uh, and the bots offline. Okay, so that's all you need to know. I'm gonna go and just to let y'all people know. Here you go. Here you go. Now try and hack my application. <laughs> okay, so see y'all later. And this is Half Big, and I am tuning out.